How many of you have studied brain injury as part of your work here at University of St. Augustine? Okay, so the entire room. I love speaking to healthcare professionals. It was coming from an actual patient, someone who'd actually had lived through what we've been learning. So on February 6th of my second semester of my freshman year, I found myself outside of the downtown Shattuck BART station. As I was going down the escalator to the BART station, the first clue that I had that something was definitely off was a woman was running up the down escalator screaming. What I saw in front of me, we'll call him a gentleman, had broken into the glass ticket booth and he was attacking two of the subway workers inside the booth. So I yelled at him, I said, hey, you know, hey, relax, calm down, you know, take it easy. He got out of the ticket booth, he jumped over the turnstiles and he charged at me. I believe that all rehabilitation professionals need to look at purpose and meaning and restoring hope in their patient's rehabilitation journey. None of these things up here are deadly, except for one. It's the loss of identity and purpose. So think about how you're going to connect with the patient. How are you going to have the patient connect with the outside world? How are you going to get the patient to ultimately achieve and do what it is you know as part of your treatment plan that patient has to perform? That may be the key to unlocking a whole lot of success. When audience members leave one of his lectures, they have a strong sense of meaning and purpose. That's why I love speaking, because I get to talk to those of you that over your career are going to treat and be in contact with over probably 10,000 patients. I mean, thousands and thousands of patients in your career. I cannot imagine the impact that you are going to be able to have on people who have been through catastrophic events. Look at your time here and your education and your clinical experience and ask yourself, are you willing to be a healer also? I thank you for the career choice that you've made because I have been so impacted by my occupational therapist, by my physical therapist, the people that have committed to my rehabilitation and kind of given me my life back. So thank you. It's very, very noble. It's very important, the work that you guys are doing. It's very exciting. It would be great if every OT program in the country was able to hear him speak.